When children start to learn to read and write at school, they'll be introduced to the sounds of the alphabet letters, not the names. Of course, as adults, we're much more familiar with the names, A, B, C, right through to Z. But young children starting to learn to read will begin by learning the sounds, and names will come in later. So they'll be learning A, B, K, D, etc. So you need to be really familiar with that when you're doing sound-based games or when you're introducing your child to the letters of the alphabet during their preschool years. The important aspect of this is to avoid introducing what we technically call a schwa sound when you're producing the individual sounds of the alphabet. What this means is that you need to pronounce each alphabetic sound as clearly as possible without introducing a following uh. So for instance, if you're sounding out the word dog, if you let the schwa sound, the uh sound, come in, it will be sounded out as d or g like that. But in fact, what you need to do is to make each individual consonant sound as short and as clipped and clear as possible, avoiding the uh sound. So it comes out in dog as d or g like that. So do be careful and think about this when you're introducing alphabetic sounds in relation to consonants. Some of the alphabetic sounds are easier than others. Some of the easier ones to say that avoid the schwa sound are s, t, g, j, d, etc. Some of the more difficult ones involve the sounds that go with the letters m, n, y and x. So you need to be quite careful how you pronounce these. So m should be m, n should be n, X should be X and Y should be Y. So the important thing to do is just say them as clearly and in a short and clipped way as possible. Then you'll be getting very close to the letter sounds that your child will be learning when he or she starts school in reception class.